Coincidence, that's where we live, too. Small world, yeah, Daisy and I are in the little ranch-style house in the corner. That house is just like ours. It's bigger, better landscapes. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further in the park. Maxwell happily trotting, trot, trotting, trotting along in tow. Dot, dot, dot. Do you do you get the feeling he was trying to one up us? Hmm. Oh shit! My kids. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. <laughs> too close to the truth, Dad. <sighs> Let us never speak again of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, a se seven part what the fuck? <laughs> Amanda McDrubble. I'm so sorry, Amanda. You have to deal with this terrible last thing. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park that we the day. The day is the day is early. Let's go to the coffee shop. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. We can pass a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it! Wankins is down for anything. You know Wankins. You know he's down for shit. <laughs> we walk down the street to the coffee shop. Cute little place on the corner. Hey! Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess... Hmm... What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he's very much within my personal zone. Hmm... Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel like your face, and feel your face flush hot and shame? Just consider the possibility that there's in fact been somewhere just out of sight, and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Aww. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! We walk inside. Oh. Inside of the coffee shop, it's incredibly warm and inviting. Hello, Dad. Vital reference lying the walls lounge around a well worn couch. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Hey. So Matt needs this very sexy voice because he's very, very fine. Um he's like a guy. What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's uh it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's Still a good idea because, like, business is still running. Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all just getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. We're in it now, and I can't stop. Hey, yeah. Yeah, my dad can't stop. Wankins is here to play! <laughs> When Wankins comes on in with the dot dot dot. Hmm. So what'll it be? Ah. I scan the chalkboard menu and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a uh uh <laughs> a chai and board. Spice. I don't get it. Oh, it's uh the ant board. The ant I don't I don't really know how to say that. Ant board is the South African. Macchiato de Mar- oh my god, Macchiato. <laughs> that would be a great edit, like a little Macchiato over Macchiato. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or big and small? So this place is the worst. I would immediately walk out right when I hear it. Right when I see the chalkboard or whatever and hear the sizes, I would walk right the fuck back out. Uh, medium. 
Wait, is Ziggy Smalls big or small? Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, bad voice. Uh, I should change that, should Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his pun. They're cooler bands than you listen to, anyway. Hey! Hey! Sky was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Now that's some bad shit right there. You sink right in the couch and you're like, oh, this is the shit I like. Lumbar support. Ass doesn't hurt. Pretty comfy. Not as comfy as on my couch, but comfy. Oh, it's comfier than our couch. Man, that's just... Hmm. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people who are. We should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> See, we're making progress. Matt sets our chinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Fucking smooth blankets. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Wankins. Didn't we already introduce ourselves to this man? Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you, guys. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. She might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey! You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion. Mac goes in the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells of me. Mm. Working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a new Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first, so we can, uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda's nodding vigorously. She knows this game. Everyone knows the free shit game, Wankin. You know that you have to do the hustle to get the bus. You know? Yeah, we need to give that Nana Bread a taste if you want us to appreciate it later. I think that would be commensurate with the. Uh, I saw her well. We have trained to I, I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us to Amanda and I have to chow down. This is amazing! Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient. Yes, mm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. So I'm I'm so hard in on this uh banana bread. You know, like the punk band? I thought you said you only knew dad band puns. I'm a heart dad. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Banana bread can be strong as That's hard to do. I wanted to say baby, because I thought it would sound good. Once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professor. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby! Hey. See? Sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man- Hello, mysterious! A man catches my eye. He says, he looks like he has blue, though. Like, honestly, it looks like he catches blue from him. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a Question mark. I hastily look away. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping me. Take care! Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Oh, I should get to unpacking. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. Do I smell bad? Wankins. With a name like Wankins, there's no way you don't smell bad. You smell bad at all times. Amanda gave me a whip. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. I get to 
work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying, and you can actually walk in the living room without tripping over boxes. Hot damn, Daddy, you did some work. First visitor already! I walk over to the door and open it. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I gotta know. Hello! Oh. A handsome book of e books. It's probably fucked up that I said that, but he does not look straight. A handsome, clean cut man stands at my door. He looks like Freddy from Scooby Doo. Brandishing a plate of cookies. Hail! <laughs> Hail! Hail! <laughs> Oh, where are my- Wait, what kind of voice does this guy have? You have a very flamboyant- I wish I could do Rogers from there for that, because he would have Rogers voice. Oh, where are my- where are my manners? No, I can't do it. My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi. I'm Wankins. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. <laughs> But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? <laughs> wow, Cookie, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, McDonald! Amanda. Oh, McDonald! <laughs> damn, damn straight. Damn straight, Daddy. Um, Amanda disappears with him. <laughs> Amanda, come back! And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Hmm. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try more than two. Oh. But I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant... <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. One of them's too late to be found. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey. Is Mrs. around? Mr. Actually? Ender? No, not anymore. He died. Well, shit, Wankins, that's... Break it gently, my man. You could have said, like, anything but that. You fucking just roll out with the he died. Like... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss! No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both are. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I just need to go back in the closet for a few minutes and reevaluate. <laughs> I look at Joseph Lee, Joseph, Joseph Lee, quizzically but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> Hello, homosexual. Um. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue at the Colby Vet, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <sighs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Hey. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. shop on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Burp. I feel like Wankins has like constant indigestion and he's always like burping or like doing something like that. Joseph starts walking away but stops to think for a second and turns. <sighs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about it, stuff. I'm the monster. <laughs> yeah, Joseph. Um, I kind of figured something speedy was going on with you. You. You look far too white. Far too white to not have something sketchy going on with you. At a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. With that, Joseph's gone. You seem nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and picky in hand. Fucking tragic ass picture. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Uh. Poor Swankins. Go right for the cookies. They're gone. I'm sorry. Hi. Makes you feel any better. They weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyways? Huh. I guess that makes a break now. 
any ideas? 